If you guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, he have released a lot of content, as you guys know. If you've been on Xbox, then I've had to wait 20 minutes to get onto the game. So, we're finally on the game. Thank God, I mean, I just went, not much more things could go wrong, to be honest, um, lately. But, what can I do? So, anyway, boys, in terms of Icotops, I've actually dropped 12 Icotops, which, I mean, they should have dropped them all at once anyway, in my opinion. But, it's good that they've dropped them as a batch of 12, which is sick. We've also got a level 30 season, I believe, as well. This season, we've got Lone Lampard. I've not actually checked this season out, so I'll have a quick look. Got a decent, not a bad looking centre mid, but he's from a bad league. Looks like an alright right wing. Not going to get near my team though. Mega Park, 30k park, 45k park, Flex, a Kanji, a 50k park, a Kanji, Milinkovic Savage, Kovacic. Oh! It'll be between Kovacic and a Kanji. A Kanji is like a club legend of mine. I played like 350 games with him. But um, anyway, boys, you guys have clicked on this video to see how to do this as fast as possible. Um, we'll go for each one. So there's obviously eight online ones and there's four offline ones. You guys on PlayStation have got this offline one a lot easier than us Xbox because there's a glitch. If you guys don't know the glitch, I can roughly explain it. Um, if not, just go watch a video on it. So just for all you stuff, could drop a like anyway, boys. 50 likes would be sick. Drop some if you're new. And let's have a look at this as well. This older guy looks sick as well, by the way. You can, like, upgrade him and stuff, which is mad. It's a shame that he couldn't, be, couldn't have been a bit of a more exciting player, but whatever. At least we might get some more upgradable players in the future. So that's that's the best thing about that. So anyway, boys, for the for the online ones, win four rivals matches using nine first owner Premier League in your starting squad. Nine first owner La Liga, and same with Serie A, same with Bundesliga, same with La Liga. And then, we'll, in fact, we'll go through these, what is it, five. So, this is the top five leagues. So, win four rival matches. So, like I always say, to make this a lot faster, you can literally just drop down divisions in rivals. That's what I do. It's a lot easier. I usually have a system every week. I go from Div 10, well, drop all the way down to Div 10, and then go to Div 7. So, you're getting Div 7 rewards every week. And then, uh, but you're having to play in Div 10 to Div 7, if you get me. So, and also, you can put... So let's say you've put together your league and first owner team. You've got quite a dead league and first owner team. Um, apologies, I've uh, been relegated down a bit. So let's say you've got a bad league and a f f first owner team. So we will put on a training card. So just imagine this Ben Yedder is someone terrible. Let's say he needs a dribbling boost. You can actually put dribbling boost on in rivals, which is pretty sick. Um, do I, have a dribb I don't have a gold one, but we can put like a, could put a plus three on. Just put a plus three overall, and boom, that'll help you a lot. Like, if you need a plus 15 pace, let's say you've got a slow, non rare or something like that, you can just whack that on, and uh, boom, the game will be a lot easier, and hopefully, you'll get it done faster. So, that's for the rival ones. Obviously, you've got to do that for all the top five leagues. Only win four rivals. I, don't if I, I think I'll have an all right first owner team for each one. I should do anyway, because I usually do all the objectives and stuff, so I should be good. Um, win five rival matches using 11. French players in your starting squad, okay. Again, you can drop down divisions, you can also put the training cards on. 11 French players is going to be interesting, I don't know if I'll have that. Um, win five rival matches using 11 first owner. Oh, in your starting squad, so you can do some of these together. Um, what I might do is it might be hard, but if you could get a full like French La Liga team or full French Bundesliga, in fact, that'd be way too hard. If you could, though, that'd be three and one. Oh no. Oh no, we're returning, boys. I've got a return. I don't believe it. I thought I thought I packed my bags for the year. I've actually got to come and play foot champs again. Right, okay. Well, it looks like we're coming back to foot champs then, boys. Oh no. I'm not looking forward to that. Win 12 matches in foot, foot champs. The rats have got me back. I've not played foot chance for like a good month and a bit, maybe two months. Holy. Oh, yeah. Why have you made me return? You can't use trading cards in foot chance, by the way, boys. So there's not really much of a fast way to do it in foot champs. Well, you only need wins in foot champs, don't you? So just go with your main team. So, oh, I'm kind of pissed now. I, I really didn't want to have to play foot champs. I've got to collect every swap as well because I've taken Van der Sar and the uh, Icon part. Let me know what you guys are picking as well, boys. 
Anyway, for the Skull Battle ones, we need to play 6, 12, 18, 20... Oh, no. Oh, my. How many Icosops games are we making us play? So, we've got to play Legendary for this one, and then three World Classes. Okay, so... For the first one, so you've got to win six Skull Battle matches on Legendary using 11 Argentinian players. So on PlayStation, on Xbox it sometimes works, not always on Legendary, but you can basically... There's a glitch where you don't even have to play, so you've got to go 1-0 up, you have to go 1-0 up. Um, so you can use training cards and stuff like that to make it easier. Um, but if you go 1-0 up, you can, you can go into the opponent's box, it has to be the opponent's box. Go to like the side of the box and just fake shot. Fake shot a couple of times, maybe it'll take you a couple of times, but on PlayStation it always works. Xbox it sometimes doesn't work, sometimes works. It's weird on Xbox, like, of course it doesn't work for Xbox, but on PlayStation it definitely works. So, there's that glitch. Um, also, it doesn't have to be a first owner team, so 11 Argentinians. I would go out your way and pay a bit extra for some Argentinians. I wouldn't go over like a dog shit cheap team to make it easier. So, what I always say as well, play the first two teams. Lower rated, low chem, and then just skip forward. You could play against this team. Still a beatable team. Usually you get a team like that in your second go. I've actually had a not bad refresh here. So. Uh, full silver team there. That's very easy on legendary. And then what's this team? So that's, again, full silver team. Now, I've actually had a very good refresh there. So first couple of teams. And then refresh, boys. You don't need to play the whole batch. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. So that's for the squad battle ones. And that's for the Argentinian. So... Next up, we've got World Class with 11 Dutch. That's very easy on World Class um, in your starting squad. You could just sub off. Let's say you, you've, you've only got like a bronze Dutch centre-back and you can't be asked to go buy a new one. Just, just put him in your starting squad and then just sub him off for like one of your starting 11. So, boom. And then... Oh, God, my bad. Um, and then they've put a mixture again. So, win five squad battle matches uh, on World Class using six Mexican players and five American Again, you can just play the first two teams. That's fairly easy. And then 7 CSL and 4 J League. Interesting. 4 J League. Okay. So, again, you can just play the first two teams. And, boom. Happy days. You get it done fairly fast. So, I want to have a quick look at this order guy. Because I, I was watching uh, Nick28T go for it. While the servers are down. Uh, but I didn't really get to see much of it. So, special item order guard. So, we earn a special, uh, an 80 rated order guard. One rare player. Then we get an 84 order guard. To earn the 84 order guard. And then you earn the 85 order guard. You can actually boost his weak foot somewhere. Which is interesting. Two rare player back comes to the forward. I don't know what to think of this. So wait, do you upgrade him to 87? Or could you upgrade him past 87? That's why I don't get it. If anyone knows, then uh, do let me know. Score using 80 rated Future Stars Academy Erdogan in four. Oh, okay. So they're making us use like the 80 rated. Okay. I kind of like that. I wish it was for a better player because, I mean, I couldn't really give a shit about Erdogan. I don't know what you guys think. Um, being La Liga and terrible nation. And I think he's got a terrible week foot as well. So, um, I don't know. What, let me know what you guys think of, of that, all this content. There's a lot of content being released. Um... I'm going to try and get the Icos up some fast. I cannot, I'm actually pissed that I have to play foot champs again. I really didn't want to have to play foot champs again, but I've got to, I've got to if I want to get it done. So what, what day are we on Friday? Maybe I'll do it next weekend. I can't do it this weekend. I, I'm going to have to return to foot champs next week. I cannot believe I'm going to have to play foot champs. My motivation for this game is rock bottom as well. Uh, I want to have a quick look at Erdegaard. Uh, his stats, is he actually on the game? Yeah, 87. So I don't know if you can... I'm guessing you're upgrading to an 87. Um, I don't know if you can upgrade him past 87. I'm not too sure. If it's only 287, then, I mean, that's just... That's dead. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's dead. Uh, medium, medium, left footed, three star weak foot, dead. Five star skills, obviously good. Um, I mean, decent stats, but there's so many players like that. I mean, if I compare him to Ben Yedda, I guarantee Ben Yedda's probably got just as good as stats. Let's have a look. In terms of in-game stats, anyway, I bet he's got the more important stats. So, Ben Yed has only got more pace and more uh, more pace and more pace shot. But the thing with Ben Yedda, look at the, the agility and balance is insane. The dribbling stats are insane. Passes a little bit low. Finishing's insane, though. Pace is decent. Um, I don't know. It's all right. I can't go too much into it, but 
It's a bit mad, but there's the Icosops video, boys. So let me know if you've got any questions of it. Go drop a like, I'd appreciate that. Drop a sub if you're new, and uh, yeah, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.